Pagbabaksakan dito in 5, 4, 3, 2. Let's refresh some important formulas from your previous mathematics subjects. First is the loss of exponents. So, important yung ating loss of exponents sa ating differential equations. Another important formulas are yung trigonometric identities. Trigonometric identities are important sa pag-convert ng mga terms natin sa ating differential equations. Another important formulas are yung sa basic differentiation formulas from your calculus 1. So, ito yung sa differentiation of trigonometric functions. So, I hope you still remember them. Derivatives of exponential functions. Derivatives of logarithmic functions. And yung integration formulas natin from your integral calculus. Okay, so we now proceed to chapter 1. Chapter 1 is entitled Introduction or Definition. Under chapter 1, we have definition and classifications of differential equations and solution of a differential equations. Under solutions, of differential equation, we have analytic theorems of determining the solution of a DE and graphical method of finding the solution of a DE. Our lesson for today is definition and classifications of differential equations. Okay, so what is a differential equation? Ano nga ba ang differential equation? A differential equation is a mathematical equation that relates some function with its derivatives. An equation relating an unknown function and one or more of its derivatives is called a differential equation. Simply, a differential equation is an equation containing derivatives. In applications, the functions usually represent physical quantities the derivatives represent their rates of change, and the differential equation defines a relationship between the two. Because such relations are extremely common, differential equations play a prominent role in many disciplines including engineering, physics, economics, and biology. Examples of differential equations. So, ito yun, yung naka-flash sa ating screen. Classifications of differential equation. Differential equations can be divided into several types. Apart from describing the properties of the equation itself, these classes of differential equations can help inform the choice of approach to a solution. Differential equations are classified as ordinary or partial systems of differential equations according to order, 
linear or non-linear, homogeneous or heterogeneous. Ordinary and partial differential equations. One important classification is based on whether the unknown function depends on a single independent variable or on several independent variables. Case 1. Only ordinary derivatives appear in the differential equation, and it is said to be an ordinary differential equation. Case 2. The derivatives are partial derivatives, and the equation is called a partial differential equation. Ordinary differential equations. An ordinary differential equation, also abbreviated as ODE, is an equation containing an unknown function of one real or complex variable x, its derivatives, and some given functions of x. The unknown function is generally represented by a variable, often denoted y, which therefore depends on x. Thus, x is often called the independent variable of the equation. The term ordinary is used in contrast with the term partial differential equation, which may be in respect to more than one independent variable. In other words, an ordinary differential equation is a differential equation that does not involve partial derivatives. So ito yung ating examples ng ordinary differential equations. So, yung mga derivative natin na common na dy over dx, yun yung mga tinatawag na ordinary derivatives. Okay. They are called ordinary differential equations since it does not contain partial derivatives. Partial differential equations. A partial differential equation, also abbreviated as PDE, is a differential equation that contains unknown multivariable functions and their partial derivatives. This is in contrast to ordinary differential equations which deal with functions of a single variable and their derivatives. In other words, a partial differential equation is a differential equation that involves partial derivatives. PDEs are used to formulate problems involving functions of several variables and are either solved in closed form or used to create a relevant computer model. So more on yung partial DE natin is used in computer models. So ito yung examples ng partial differential equations. Okay, so kung makikita natin yung symbol ng partial derivative as you recall in your calculus 1 yun yung mga derivatives na involved sa ating partial differential equations systems of differential equations another classification of differential equations depends on the number of unknown functions that are involved if there is a single function to be determined then one equation is sufficient However, if there are two or more unknown functions, then a system of equations is required. For example, the lot Calcaterra or predator-prey equations are important in ecological modeling. They have the form dx over dt is equals to ax minus alpha xy. And dy over dt is equals to negative cy plus gamma xy, where x of t and y of t are the respective populations of the prey and predator species. The constants a, alpha, c, and gamma are based on empirical observations and depend on particular species being studied. So we now go to order. The order of a differential equation is the order of the highest derivative that appears in the equation. The equation dy over dx plus 4x equals to y is first order equation. 
d squared y over dx squared plus dy over dx equal to 3x sine y d squared y over dx squared plus dy over dx plus x equal to y and l d squared q sub t over dt squared plus r d q sub t over dt plus 1 over c q sub t equal to e sub t r second order equations d cube y over dx cube plus d squared y over dx squared plus dy over dx plus cosine x equals to y is a third order differential equation equations such as yung naka-flash sa ating screen are second order partial differential equations more generally the equation f of t u sub t u prime of t up to the u sub n sub t equal to zero is an ordinary differential equation of the nth order where it can be written as f sub t y y prime up to y sub n equal to zero where y is written in place of u sub t for example y triple prime plus 2 e sub t y double prime plus y y prime equals to t to the fourth is a third order differential equation for y is equals to u sub t we assume that it is always possible to solve a given ordinary differential equation for the highest derivative obtaining y sub n is equals to f sub t y y prime y double prime up to y sub n minus 1 to avoid the ambiguity that may arise because a single equation of the form A may correspond to several equations in the form B. For example, the equation y sub prime squared plus t y sub prime plus 4y equal to 0 leads to two equations. That is, y prime is equals to negative t plus quantity square root of t squared minus 16y all over 2 or y prime is equals to negative t minus quantity square root of t squared minus 16y all over 2. Linear differential equations. Linear differential equations are differential equations that are linear in the unknown function and its derivative. Their theory is well developed and in many cases, one may express their solutions in terms of integrals. Most ODEs that are encountered in physics are linear and therefore, most special functions may be defined as solutions of their linear differential equations. A linear differential equation may also be a linear partial differential equation. If the unknown function depends on several variables and the derivatives that appear in the equation are partial derivatives. The general form of a linear DE is a sub 0 sub t y sub n plus a sub 1 sub t y sub n minus 1 up to a sub n sub t y is equals to g sub t. So ito yung examples ng linear differential equations. Definition of linear differential equations A linear ordinary differential equation of order n in the dependent variable y and the independent variable x is an equation that is in or can be expressed in the form a sub 0 sub x and derivative of y plus a sub 1 sub x and minus 1 derivative of y up to the a sub n minus 1 of x dy over dx plus a sub n of x y is equals to b sub x where a sub 0 is not identically 0. 
The following differential equations are both linear sa ating example. In each case, y is the dependent variable. Observe that y and its various derivatives occur to the first degree only and that no products of y and or any of its derivatives are present. Okay, so, ma-observe natin sa examples natin na yung derivatives and y, the dependent variables, are of the first degree or yung exponent nila is naka raised to 1. So, do not be confused of the order and the degree. Pag order, yun yung sa derivative kung pang ilang beses siya dinerive. For example, yung d squared y over dx squared is the second derivative. So, it is of the second order but of the first degree kasi yung exponent niya is raised to 1. Nonlinear differential equations. A nonlinear differential equation is a differential equation that is not a linear equation in the unknown function and its derivatives. There are very few methods of solving nonlinear differential equations exactly. Those that are known typically depend on the equation having particular symmetries. Nonlinear differential equations can exhibit very complicated behavior over extended time intervals. Linear differential equations frequently appear as approximations to nonlinear equations. These approximations are only valid under restricted conditions. For example, the harmonic oscillator equation is an approximation to the nonlinear pendulum equation that is valid for small amplitude oscillations. Ito yung examples ng nonlinear differential equations. Observe that sa ating first example, it is nonlinear because of the term y, y prime, or my product ng y and its derivative. Second example and third example natin are nonlinear because of the term xy. Kasi in this case, sa ating second and third example, yung variables natin na x and y are dependent to the variable t. So they are dependent variables. And masasabi din natin na these examples are parametric equations. Observe naman sa ating fourth and fifth example na nonlinear sila because of the presence of the terms with sine theta or sine y wherein yung theta and y are the dependent variables. Yung dependent variables under observation natin, they are considered nonlinear if they are inside a trigonometric function kasi yung trigonometric function are nonlinear functions because they are called transcendental functions. Okay, so the following ordinary linear equations are all nonlinear. First example is nonlinear because the dependent variable y appears to the second degree in the term xy squared. So yung y natin is nakaraise sa second power na. Second example owes its nonlinearity to the presence of the term 5 quantity dy over dx cubed. So makikita natin na yung dy over dx, alam natin na first order siya. However, yung degree niya is on the third degree kasi nakaraise siya sa third power which involves the third power of the first derivative. Finally, the last example is nonlinear because the term 5y dy over dx, which involves the product of dependent variable and its first derivative.
homogeneous and heterogeneous. A differential equation is homogeneous if it contains no non-differential terms and heterogeneous if it does. Examples, dy over dx equals to ax and d cube y over dx cube plus dy over dx equal to b are heterogeneous unless the coefficients a and b are zero. But partial derivative of z with respect to x equal to partial derivative of z with respect to y is homogeneous. A zero right-hand side is a sign of a tidied-up homogeneous differential equation. But beware of non-differential terms hidden on the left-hand side. Solving heterogeneous differential equations usually involves finding a solution of the corresponding homogeneous equation as an immediate step. So, ito yung ating examples ng differential equations. First example is a heterogeneous first-order linear constant coefficient ordinary differential equation. Heterogeneous siya kasi yung right-hand side niya is first, hindi siya zero, and second, meron siyang terms na non-derivatives or mga hindi siya derivative na term. Next example is homogeneous second-order linear ordinary differential equation. Third example is a homogeneous second-order linear constant coefficient ordinary differential equation describing the harmonic oscillator. So, ito yung equation ng harmonic oscillator na encountered siya in physics. Last example is a second-order nonlinear due to sine function ordinary differential equation describing the motion of a pendulum of length L. In the next group of examples, the unknown function u depends on two variables, x and t, or x and y. First example is a homogeneous first-order linear partial differential equation. Again, naging partial differential equation siya kasi yung derivative niya is mga partial derivatives. Next example is a homogeneous second-order linear constant coefficient partial differential equation of elliptic type, the Laplace equation. Last example is a homogeneous third order nonlinear partial differential equation. Okay, so we have sample problems. Determine the order of the given differential equation. Also state whether the equation is linear or nonlinear. Okay, so Start guessing guys or start answering the sample problems. Okay, ito yung answers. Yung number 1 natin is a second order and linear. Yung number 2, second order and non-linear. The number 3 is 4th order and linear. Number 4 is a 1st order non-linear. Number 5, 2nd order and non-linear. Number 6, 3rd order and linear. Ilan ba yung nakuha nyo tama? Okay, so that ends our lecture 1. Mm -hmm.